Hey guys, Eftho here, and today I'm back for an new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can craft many of Minecraft's most elusive items, including Never Stars, Name Tags, and Ender Pearls, as well as many other items, all with just one mod. Now, this is the Craftable Never Star mod, which of course adds the crafting of a Never Star, but also many other items which are all going to be very useful for you. Generally, a great mod, which will be showcasing all the crafting recipes here. So, let's start out with the main craft, this being the Never Star, and it's actually done in multiple parts. It's a lot more easy than going through the process of killing the wither skeletons and then killing the wither, but it's still quite tricky. It's very well balanced actually. So you need to start out with the crafting of four star branches. You craft these using these diamonds and glowstone in this orientation. I'll just show you in the crafting recipe here, so that we're in the crafting table, so you know this is legit. I won't do this for all of them, but I'll just do it here and a couple others just to show you that I'm not just making all this up. So as you can see there, I've just put in the diamonds. Obviously, if you removed one or tried to put them somewhere else, it won't work as you would normally expect with crafting recipes. So just make sure they're as you see on screen, and you'll get one star branch. Now, as previously mentioned, you will need four, and you'll see why in just a moment. But once you've got those four, you're also going to need to make one never core or star core, which is going to go in the middle of the next crafting recipe. This one requires a little bit more effort, a lot more diamond. You're going to need a fair bit more diamond here, and you're also going to need a block of emerald. Glowstone appears again. Glowstone is quite prominent in this mod, so make sure you're stacked up on glowstone, that's really going to help you out. And then you'll eventually get a star core. Now you can combine these with one star core in the middle of your crafting recipe, glowstone on the outer four corners, and the four star branches we mentioned earlier, and that will get you the never star. So let's just grab these here and I'll show you in the crafting table just to prove again that this is uh, all working fine. So just put these in here, put your glowstone around the corners. And there you'll have a never star, all without the need for that so slow process of collecting wither skeleton skulls, as well as that quite diff difficult battle you'll encounter with the uh, with the wither. Now, as well as this, this you know this is not the only item you can craft with this mod, despite what the title would suggest. So the title of the mod, they should have they probably should have changed that because there's a lot of other great features in this mod that you don't actually get the first impression of when you first download the mod. So, for example. You can actually now craft many of the Never's most difficult items to obtain, such as blaze rods, blaze powder, and gas tears. Blaze powder can be obtained by crafting one redstone and one glowstone together, which I'll do in just a moment. And then you can also craft blaze rods by putting one stick between four blaze rods, uh, blaze powders, sorry. And that will get you a blaze rod. So you will no longer have to go to a Never fortress if you don't want to. You can still get the blaze rods, and then in turn you can start brewing. All about the need, but again, another slow process in Minecraft finding one of those never fortresses, which can be very tricky. As well as this, you can now actually craft gas tears. The gas tears is a two stage craft. You want to start out by crafting a bottle of tear. This isn't a potion, it's just a new item that you can use to craft gas tears. So just combine one water bucket with an empty glass bottle and a soul sand, as shown there. Then you combine four of these glass bottles, or the bottle of tears in this case, with four of your blaze powder, which you could. You could either get from going to the nether, or you could get them from this craft here. And then you'll get a gas tier, which you can then use for potions. So again, a very useful craft. It just makes things a little bit easier, a little bit more fluid in Minecraft. The sort of crafts that you look at and you think, why isn't that in the game already? It'd be so much, you know, so useful. Now on to some overworld stuff. You can now actually craft ender pearls and slime balls, as well as string. Now string actually has quite a weird crafting recipe. Why they chose sugarcane, I don't know. But it's nice and cheap, which is quite a nice touch. And you can also craft, as I say, slime balls. Very similar craft here to the one that was the preliminary for the uh, for the gas tier. You just need one clay, one water bucket, and one lime dye. Why lime? I I mean, I guess it's very similar to the color of the slime ball. That makes sense. But uh, lime in particular is a bit of a random choice. But then here you've got the ender part, which is going to be very useful when you're preparing to go to the end. I know farming endermen in the overworld. Can be a very tricky and difficult process, so it just kind of cuts that out and makes things a little bit easier for you. So here you're just going to combine some lapis lazuli with some cactus green, combine that with one never quartz. So you still need to go to the never with this mod. You just don't have to do as much there if you don't want to. You know, this is a great mod for anyone who wants to play Minecraft, but doesn't maybe doesn't have the time for all the slow processes, the finding of never fortresses, the collecting of wither skeleton skulls, the things that kind of drag out the game longer than. They necessarily the game necessarily needs to be on. So if you've got limited time to play, this is a great mod to use. And you can of course combine it with other mods too. So you can craft the ender pearl there, that's gonna be a very useful one. 
But then there's also a couple of almost like luxury crafts, crafts that you just wished were in the game already. The sort of items that aren't necessarily useful in terms of completing the game, but they're really nice to have. This includes name tags and saddles. So let's start out with the name tags, just get some paper and one string, which you could of course craft yourself with a new craft. And then you'll see you get a name tag. And as well as this, you can get a saddle. So if horses are something you like in Minecraft, this is going to be a great feature for you because you're not only going to be able to now ride your horses with your saddles, but you can also name them whatever you want. Hope you found this mod helpful and really, really hope you enjoy this one because I certainly am enjoying it so far. It's a great mod to just speed things up, make things a little easier if you don't have so much time. Hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you have, please just take one second to hit that like button. And thanks for watching.